as always Fancy Cakes YouTube channel. Today we've got another very special guest, Marisol. She's from Brazil, although she's come from Norway to visit us this week, and she's going to be making this really cute lion in fox paste for us. <laughs> I'll put links to Marisol's uh, pages below the video so you can have a, a look at all her work as well. Enjoy the video! So here's what we're going to use in the video. You can pause this screen if you want to take notes of everything on here, uh, but we're also going to put links to everything that we've used in the description box below the video. Now Marisol's going to be using the fox paste. Uh, this one's come from Brazil, but we do now stock it and we'll also put links below to where you can get it from. Um, it's not edible is this paste, so this is if you want to make a cake topper that you're going to be able to keep. And Marisol's just going to make a pale blue by mixing the white and blue together. She's going to be rolling this to cover the base of a polystyrene and she's cutting it out using a cocktail stick. Now you can use sugar paste or even modeling paste if you want an edible item. Um, Marisol wants to be able to keep this one so that's why we're using the fox paste instead of a gum paste. And she's just texturing it with a nail brush. Obviously just make sure you've got a clean new nail brush and not one that you've used for your nails. And then Marisol's using some pre-colored paste now for the body. It's divided into little sections and we're going to put the weights up on screen for you now. Now starting with the body, Marisol's going to use a small polystyrene ball and insert it into a teardrop of the fox paste. If you're using um, an edible paste, you might not want to put that polystyrene ball in there. So you just make a teardrop without the polystyrene ball. So we're going to take a little bit of the pale colour. Marisol's going to roll that out nice and thin. And this is going to go on the tummy section of her lion. She's not using any glue, she's just pushing it on, but pushing it on firmly. This particular paste shrinks a little bit when it does dry. Oh, just use the handle of a modeling tool there to pop in a belly button. Now for the head, again we're just wrapping some more of that yellowy colour paste around a polystyrene ball. Don't forget if you're using icing or modeling paste that's edible, you won't need that polystyrene. This one's not an edible paste so no one's going to be eating this one. So she's just put um, an indentation across where the eyes are going to go. She's just used a little cell pin to do that with. Just smoothing it off and just nudging up sort of where the chin area is. Again, just smoothing over those lines. And if you do have a go with the fox paste rather than the gum paste, you will be able to see that it does feel a little bit different. It takes a little bit of getting used to using it. Uh, just a small oval for the nose. Marisol's flattening that down, just pinching a little bit up at the top and just an indentation at the bottom. I oh, know it's at the top. The indentation is going to be turned to the top so it's kind of like a heart shape when she sticks it on. And then we're just going to use this little serrat tool to push in a mouth. So push in and then pull it down and then this little rubber ended tool to create little eye sockets. Now she's using some black paste for the eyes so just two ovals about the size of those eye sockets and we're just going to press those in firmly. Marisol's going to make her lion look a little bit sad by pushing down sort of the eyebrow area. A little bit of paste just to darken inside the mouth and then also a bit more for the nose made into a triangle shape. Press that nose on firmly and then just poke in a little nostril at the bottom either side. Now this paste does cling to things so just be careful of it sticking to your tools. Got a teardrop squished down and make another one the same. Now same again but this time smaller in the pale colour and that's going to go in the centre of each ear. I'm just going to push those on either side. So of course at this point it could be just a normal little cat. Oh, Marisol's rolling thin a piece of brown. I'm just going to cut off either end and use that for the eyebrows. She's going to make all four of its legs in exactly the same way. Just rolling out the leg with more pressure at one side than the other, leaving a fat bit for the foot. Put little crease lines in, a couple of little toes. Make indentations underneath where the paw pads are going to go and then Marisol's going to make some small balls in brown and just fill those in those little spaces that she's made. Now with the fox paste you have to use glue to stick the pieces together. 
and then she's securing that down with a cocktail stick. Now, if you're using an edible paste, you can use water or edible glue, but with this stuff, it's actual glue, like PVA glue. And then we're gonna stick on back legs first, out towards the sides, and then the front legs are just gonna press onto the front there like that. Now, just before Marisol sticks the head on, she's just gonna give it some rosy little cheeks. She's actually using the edible dust, even though the paste isn't edible, the dusts still do work on the fox paste. And a couple of tiny dots of white color in the eyes and a little bit on the nose. And then three white dots on either cheek. A little bit more glue again, just to make sure the head sticks when she adds it. Pushing that down on the cocktail stick. Then some brown fox paste. She's gonna use two circle cutters or cookie cutters. Just making sure one's a bit bigger than the face. Just gonna roll this out and then cut out the circle using the fluted kind of frilly edge for the lion's mane. Smaller one now for the middle. You can use the straight edge for the small one. And she's just adding some lines using this little wheelie tool. And then just wanna stretch it large enough so that this slots over the face. Now, shouldn't tear and rip this paste, so you don't have to be too careful. If you are using like a fondant or modeling paste that's edible, just be careful when stretching it, you don't want it to split. And then just pulling it around so it's not too straight looking. So just using the tool there to just pull it out a little bit more at the edges. Taking a teardrop of the brown, Marisol's gonna give the lion a little piece of hair that just comes down onto its forehead. Giving it a little curl at the end, just zigzagging it side to side. It's just gonna place on the forehead like so. Now for a tail, we want a long thin piece of the yellow color with a teardrop of the brown just stuck on the end. Give it a bit of a curve and that'll just push onto the back onto its bum. And you do need to press this paste nice and firmly because it does shrink a little bit when it dries. So everything has to be pushed on really securely. There he is, all finished. I think Marisol's done a fantastic job with the lion. And a big thank you to Marisol for making this for us for our YouTube channel. Um, as Marisol did the filming for me this week because I had some other work to be getting on with and didn't have time for a YouTube video. So thank you ever so much for stepping in for me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Do Sentak! Oh, obrigado por assistir! <laughs> I'm gonna put links to Alessandra's work um, below the video for you all to see. Marisol. She said Alessandra. Yeah. Oh, did I? Oh! Just do that one again. You did that one again. You didn't point it out. I'm busy watching. I was waiting for those fucking have I got something wrong. Okay, we're going again. Just do that end bit. Oh, just the end bit? Yeah. Oh, okay, was it only at the end bit? What's your, what's your YouTube channel called? Mine? Yeah. So just checking, case. just checking. Right, go on at the end bit. Okay. I'm going to put links to, uh, to think about Marisol's name then. <laughs> if you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.